Hello, and welcome to episode 15 of D Nice Knits. My name is Denise, and you can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as DNice515. I'd like to thank returning viewers for coming back for about uh, 20 minutes of talking about yarn, um, and I'd like to thank new viewers for checking me out. I hope you like it and you stick around. Um, today, I have not that much to talk about, so it'll be a quick one, I hope. <laughs> I say that now. <laughs> um, so, I have FOs, whips, and future knitting. And that's it. I don't, I don't think I bought anything. I, no, no, I didn't. Thank God. Um, so <laughs> I'm going to start where I always start, which is socks. I finished um, another pair of Christmas socks. So this is one that I hand dyed myself with um, Knit Pick Stroll Glimmer Bear. And then I used blue <laughs> food coloring. And then I have speckles of red and green. And then I used green. This is solid though. This is Deborah Norville. Serenity sock, and this is where I was last time on both of these socks, I believe, yes. I put these nice blue um, snowflake charms, stitch markers that used to be earrings, um, my daughter's earrings. Um, so it's my standard formula, my basic formula, which is Judy's Magic Cast On, and then I increase to 60 stitches, and then I do 65 rows and I put 10, a marker every 10 rows to get to 65. And then I do a fish lips kiss heel. And then this one, I think I got to 45. No, this one, I was counting um, stripes because I wanted them to end in opposite. So this leg is two rows longer than this leg. <laughs> but only I know that. And now you know that. <laughs> um, so yes. So that's another pair of socks, which I'm very happy with the way these turned out. Um, like I said before, dyeing with the food dye is not hard. That's not the hard part. It's the um, the untangling the yarn after. Because you have to spread the yarn out to make it self-striping. And then I put a bunch of ties because I read that you're supposed to put ties. Yes. And um, I put a bunch, but it's still tangled up. But... That's the only part, is like the tangling up of the yarn. Um, and then I finished my neighbor's um, blanket, but I didn't bring it out. Um, all I have to do is sew in the ends and put fringe on it. So when I do that, I'll probably post it on my Instagram. So watch this space, right? <laughs> it, or maybe I'll show a picture of the next podcast because I'm not officially done. I'm not like done done. Um, but I'm done with the crocheting part. And I don't think I'll ever use a crochet hook that big again because it did not... Um, feel good on my hands uh, so that's that so now I'm going to show you whips so I have the first thing which is uh, in my Christmas bag and this is Christmas socks for my grandmother-in-law I think yes Christmas socks for my grandmother-in-law so this is the second one and I have the first one almost done I didn't um, cast off yet so I have all the ribbing done. I just have to bind off. So I'll bind off this one at the same time that I bind off this one. So last time I podcast, I was here with the stocking. Yes. So all my stitch markers now, I think almost all of them, are Christmas related now. <laughs> um, so this is, again, my basic formula. A 2.5 milliliter US 1.5. 60 stitches, Judy's Magic Cast On, 65 rows, Fish Lips Kiss Heel, and then I did 50 rows, and then I think I did 12, 12, round, 12 rounds of ribbing. So that's that. So I'm, I'm working on, on this sock now. And then my next work in progress is in my Santa blanket, which I didn't bring out either, because that has five, five skeins of yarn attached to it, so it's a tangled mess and I don't want to like pick it up and show you and have all the no so you'll see that when it's done because I'm almost done um I have that's not right that's not true I'm not almost done I'm halfway done <laughs> so hopefully I can finish it before Christmas I really 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 want to finish that one before Christmas and so in all the ends before Christmas so the next thing I have is my grandma shawl <laughs> That's what I'm calling it. It's a shawl for my husband's grandmother. Um, and she had asked for a black shawl and a white shawl to match more things 
that she was wears to church. So this is the black shawl. And that I had said before that it, it's a feather and fan shawl. It was the shawl I was making and the pattern that I started. And then I got to the second row of the lace repeat and I messed up. So I ripped out the first row of the lace repeat and now I'm just knitting. And I'm in the middle of a row, which I know bothers some people, but I'm sorry. I'm in the middle of a row and the rows are getting really long. They're like 300 stitches or something. And I don't know how people do like the Stephen West shawls where they, they have like 500 stitches. Because uh, I, I want to be done. I just want to be done. So the last time I podcast, well, the last time I show this, I was here. And so I've done this. This is like two two nights of knitting, I think. Yes. Because it's black and it's boring. And it has two yarn overs. There's one here and one on this side. And I have Katrinkle stitch markers as usual. So that's that, really. Oh, and I'm dropping stitches? Nope. I didn't drop stitches. So, oh, and for this I am using Nicole Stitch Studio and the Pound of Stitches. But I don't think I'm going to use this whole thing because I have like more than half and I can't. I cannot. I think I'm going to do that until almost Christmas. So I work on it like twice a week, maybe three times a week. And then when Christmas comes, I'm just going to buy enough <laughs> and weave in the ends real quick and then give it to her. So... As far as I get on that is as far as I get. Because I want it to be long. And it's in garter stitch, so I know it'll stretch a little. Like, um, you know, like as she wears it, it'll stretch a little, you know? You, you see? So, yeah. That, that, that's all. That, that's all I have to say about that one. Ah, sorry. And then the next thing I have. Oh, the last work in progress that I have that I've actually touched and worked on. Because <laughs> I do have some, like, hibernating stuff that I haven't touched in weeks or months, um, is a new cast on. It is a advent cowl that I started um, before with my daughter. Here it is. I had, we collected toilet paper rolls and we put, I punched a hole here and I stapled it here and then she colored all the numbers and then I, I punched a hole and I put ribbon through. So today is the sixth, so this is number six. So in some of them, I had more than 24 balls of yarn, scraps of yarn, of blue yarn. I'm trying to get it out, but I can't get it. So I had more than 26 scraps of blue yarn. It's blue and gray, and some are variegated with other colors, but yeah. So I put two in some of the toilet paper rolls, <laughs> advent calendar. So I put two because I am striping. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I've been posting every day um, where I am. So this is day one. Oh, I have stitch markers again. So this is day one. Day two, I only had one five gram ball. So I didn't think about this. So day one, I had one ball in there. So how am I supposed to stripe? So I grabbed a random blue, but I didn't think it was blue enough because you see it has like red and yellow and green in it. So I didn't have that in my advent calendar because I didn't think it was blue enough, but I used it um, with my first ball from day one and striped it. And then this is day two. Day two had two balls in it. So I striped to day two and then day three had one ball, but it was a 10 gram mini. Um, so I did like half of day, this is so confusing. <laughs> it was a 10 gram mini. So I still had some of the second one from day two. Um, and I striped that. So day three is much longer because, why? Oh, because I had two balls <laughs> and a 10 gram mini. And then this is day four, right? Wait, oh, sorry. Day four is from here to here. And that is striped with the 10 gram mini. And then I kind of messed up. So day five had just another 10 gram mini, which is this one. And this is leftover still from day four. So I feel like these 10 gram minis like are too long and I'm, I don't want to have a 20 gram. So the whole point of the advent calendar for me was for it to make it, um, to make it like surprise and not to plan things out and obsess about the color management and which one goes where but I'm doing that because I'm me and duh. Of course I would do that. <laughs> so I think 
now that it's the sixth, I have to end day five, because that's all I did on day five. It's like three hours worth of knitting, by the way. Um, and I have um, the stitch marker that my friend Sarah and Katie gave me. Hi, guys. And oh, a stitch marker from Kit Trinkles. We'll talk about that in a little bit. And so this is day five. So I think I'm gonna end it here and then add these two in. And then when this one ends, I'll see what's in day seven, because day seven might have just one ball. And then I could stripe it with this ball. I don't know. And then use these on a different day to stripe with one that I only have one ball in. Does that make sense? Probably not. My brain does not make sense. But so far, so good. So far, I like how it, it looks. It's, it's definitely different, um, but it is blue. So it's mostly blue, gray, there's some black, like striped, um, because that's what I wear. I wear gr green, blue, black, teal, gray, and, and, and sometimes red, sometimes pink. Oh, I have one purple shirt, but th that's it. So it will match everything I wear, pretty much. So, that's that. I like the way that's turning out. And then, that's all I have. So for future knitting, I want, my daughter likes her socks. She wore them in the snow. We had our first like good snowstorm um, <laughs> where you can like play in the snow. So she wore her knitted socks um, and then was like, mom, I don't want these blue ones to get messed up. And I'm like, but that's why I made them for you to wear them. So she wants another pair of blue ones in case that pair of blue ones gets messed up. So I'm going to make her another pair with the leftovers from the socks. Um, because they're blue and I know she'll wear them. She wants Chase Blue, which I've showed before, which is like, ooh, which is like this royal blue that I just showed. This is more of the color that is her favorite color. Um, but I don't have sock yarn in that color, I don't think. So, so that's a future knit. And then another future knit that I, I want to squeak out um, a scarf for my mother-in-law to match the hat that I bought her. And I want to make my mom a hat to match the scarf that I made her um, <laughs> before Christmas. So we'll see how that goes. My mom actually have leeway because my mom's birthday is on January 7th. So I can maybe make the hat for the 7th and just push that a little bit. But also my best friend's husband's birthday is January 9th. And I have not started his socks yet, even though I've said for the, like three episodes that I was gonna start his socks, I have not yet. So that's that. And then I have one more future knitting. I want to make one more pair of Christmas socks because every year I order West Yorkshire Spinners, yay, Christmas yarn. Um, and I put it aside and I know I put it in a project bag. I have no idea where it is. I know that I put it in a project bag so I wouldn't lose it and I would remember to get it and I don't know where it is. And I hope I'm not the only person that does that. I don't think I'm the only person. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna put this away in a safe place so I can remember. And then I forget where the safe place is. <laughs> so, oh, and speaking of project bags, I bought a new work bag. And all, all the people that don't like my Christmas obsession, obsession, I bought another Christmas bag. So <laughs> this is from, um, I think it's from eBay or Ally Express. I'm not, I think it's eBay. No, Ally Express. So it says Merry Christmas. And it has a snowman at the bottom that says, wow. I don't know why they say wow and it has snowflakes and when I saw the picture they didn't have the writing so I thought it would be good to use like for the winter past Christmas but it has Christmas written on it right there um but I really like it <laughs> and no one has noticed it yet at my job because that's my work bag like I have a work bag a lunch bag and then my purse and my work bag I put like a phone charger and my knitting and like um Tylenol and gum because I get headaches sometimes so so that's my Christmas socks which leads me in to my stuff that I've gotten I have gotten my advent calendar from Katrinkles and I talk about them every episode I talk about Katrinkles every episode because she's a supporter and she's awesome and I like her a lot <laughs> um, so I have four things from her that go on my projects four five five um, oh and an ornament so today is December 6th I've opened six things so we have tags that I'm going to sew into my cowl I have this stitch marker, which is a elf sweater. 
it's so cute <laughs> that stitch marker and then i have if you follow me on Instagram, I showed this and I asked if I should put it on a project bag or a coat and project bag one. So this is an, a deer sweater, which I put right next to the deer on my Christmas project bag. Isn't that cute? But I think I might still put on my coat someday just because I think it's really cute. And then we have two stitch markers, which I'm going to transfer to the grandma shawl. <laughs> That's what I'm going to just call it now, grandma shawl. And this one is a sheep and it's super reflective. See, you can see hello and I really like this one a lot it's really cool it's like metallic -y gold sheep and then a Christmas tree which I like a lot too this advent calendar has just been everything that I dreamed it would be and I'm only on day six so I'm very happy with it I'm very happy with my purchase so I've talked for 15 minutes so the last thing I'm gonna talk about is my box of socks um, which I think uh, my Christmas box of socks, which is from um, Amy of the Stranded Knitting Pad Podcast. Podcast. Um, I don't usually like. Oh, how do I say this? I don't usually follow the crowd of like what to, what's the cool thing to knit or the pattern that everybody's making because mostly when when a pattern what is it called goes viral. That's it. When a pattern goes viral, it's usually a garment, and I'm not much of a garment knitter yet yet maybe like I, I wanted to con conquer sock knitting and I think I've done that like I've knit a lot of socks oh actually when you go on Instagram no when you go on Ravelry and you put like a project in and you start a new project um they count how many times you've used that pattern so I have used the fish lips kiss heel 80 times so that means I've made at least 80 socks because I I was I did use the OMG heel a couple of times, so I think I've made like 84 or 85 pairs of socks. 84 pairs of socks. That just is blows my mind. And in four years, I think, four or five years, I've knit. <laughs> That's a lot of socks. Um, so I don't usually follow like the crowd, except I knit socks. A lot of people knit socks. Um, but the Christmas box of socks, I have just totally jumped on that bandwagon and just gone on. So I have done it. I've knit Christmas socks for two and a half years now. I only knit one pair the first year and then last year I knit, I think, six pair and this year I knit six pair. So I'm going to show you my old um, socks because most of the socks from this year you've seen. But I'm going to show you my old socks. Sorry, I'm reaching. And my box of socks. So this I got on clearance at, I think it's Big Lots. Um, after Christmas. So it was like 50% off or 60% off. Um, cause I didn't want to pay like $20 for a Christmas box. So these are my socks. They're folded nicely. <laughs> um, so my first pair is, uh, what is it called? Oh my God. Wisdom socks. Yes. So this is called, I call these my Thanksgiving socks because they don't look like <laughs> Christmas socks. They're gingerbread, I think is the name of them. Yeah. I'll link um, the project pack, project pages below because I don't have the, them memorized. And I probably should have looked it up before I did this. I probably should have. Um, so this is win Wisdom Socks. And it's my basic pattern, but I did a longer heel for sure. I think I did 70 rows on the cuff, 60 rows on the cuff. And I've only worn these once. Oh, I just realized I'm going to have to fold these again. Um, these are my first pair. So this is from the first year and I got these from a D stash. So it's two different colors. This is again the Wisdom Pole, um, Wisdom Yarns and Universal Yarns Wisdom Sock. There we go. Um, in the North Pole colorways. I don't know. The way they did their socks, it's discontinued now. So I got it on dis D stash and I got two colors. This one was balsam fur and this one was Jack Frost. So I used this for the toes in, in cuffs and then I used, I split this ball in half, the blue one in half and used as much as I could of the blue one. So I really like this. I wish I had a full sock of the Jack Frost colorway, but I haven't been able to find it on D stash. Or I'm like, why am I going to buy it? Because I already have this one. <laughs> um, and then I made, I'm, I'm trying to get through in order of what I made. Then I made these. These are another discontinued yarn. This is Red Heart, Heart and Soul in the Christmas colorway. And I had one skein of this off of D-Stash again. Um, 
there was a while there that I was like obsessed with the Ravelry D stash and saving things and buying from it, but I haven't done that in a while. And this is Deborah Norville Serenity Sock in the off-white colorway. So I did the toes and cuffs in that. I think I only did 10 row cuff. Yeah. So this one is that, and I like it a lot. And then we're going to the West Yorkshire Spinners colorway, which is this one. This was the candy cane colorway. This was the second year's colorway in West Yorkshire Spinners. Um, I don't know if they have this on the website. This is the only one that I don't see on the website. I see the first year's, which I made in the summer, which I'll show, and but I don't see this one. So this is the first year's. And then the socks I knit last year, I knit these I dyed again with food coloring on the Deborah Norval Serenity sock. And this is the same green that I had in the blue pair that I just made. So this is all Deborah Noble Serenity Sock in speckles of red and green. And then this is the last pair that I dyed that I show all the time <laughs> because I'm really proud of this self-striping. And this is, once again, food coloring and Deborah Noble Serenity Sock um, in soft white, but I hand dyed it. And then I used a red heel. Did I use? Yeah. And red heel here because, once again, I didn't want my stripes to be disrupted. Then I'll show you the ones that I made this year. So this one I made in the summer. This is the West Yorkshire Spinners in the Holly Berry colorway. This was their first Christmas release. Oh, I forgot the ones from last year. Sorry. These are the Fairy Lights colorway, West Yorkshire Spinners, um, from last year, which I really like this one too. This is like obviously Christmassy, where like the ones from this year I really need to find that yarn. <laughs> I don't know where it is. And then I made these this summer. This is a not a Christmas colorway. This is King Cole, King Cole zigzag in the summer colorway, which is probably supposed to be like a watermelon color, but I thought it looked very Christmassy. So that's that one. I made that in the summer. And then the other pairs that I just finished, which is there's two of each of these. You know that. Um, what are these? What are these? Nitpick Stroll Tweed, yes, in the Sakona Heather and the Garnet Heather, and then I have Garnet Heather and Sakona Heather, and then another pair of self striping that I that I knit and just finished, like I showed these last week, and then the pair that I showed this week. So right now I think I have oh I didn't count <laughs> I think I have twelve or thirteen thirteen I had six and then I had six. At seven, and then I so I have 13 pairs, <laughs> 13 pairs of socks. So that's halfway done. And I counted, and of all the Christmas yarn that I purchased and I dyed myself, I have enough for 25 days of socks. So next year, I have 13. So next year, I want to knit a pair a month. Um, and then, like, I have a little bit of a leeway because I, I really want to find the West York suspenders from this year and knit that pair, and then I will have 25 pairs of socks for Christmas. And then if if West Yorkshire Spinners comes out with another Christmas colorway, I'll take out these Thanksgiving socks because I really think these look like Thanksgiving socks. You know, like all of the beiges of turkey and stuffing and 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 then cranberry sauce. You know, green bean casserole. So, <laughs> um, so yeah. So that is all of my plans for my Christmas socks. And next year, you're gonna see a pair of Christmas socks every month if you keep watching. Is that cool? I don't care. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I don't care if it's cool or if I'm jumping on a bandwagon. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna knit a pair of Christmas socks a, a, a month and not buy any yarn. Watch this space because that's gonna happen. And now I said it was gonna be a short episode and I've talked for 24 minutes. So I hope you have a good day and if you if I, I think I'll record again before the holidays and that's all. Bye!